at Stonehenge. Hello, I'm in Salisbury, United Kingdom, and I'm doing the Stonehenge tour. And I am taking the Stonehenge bus from the stop. Um, I will say the map they drew online was a little difficult. I intended to go to the train station, but because of going the wrong direction, I'm now here. So you multiple stops in the city that you can take. There's a timetable online, and you just gotta be there ready. And there's several other people here, so I'm assuming we're all going on the same bus. And they take you up to Stonehenge, which is about 20 minutes. So let's go see Stonehenge. <laughs> I bought the tour bus only. That'll take me there and it'll take me back. I did not do any special tours. Here she comes. So if you're wondering like if you're gonna make it, you'll make it because this thing is obnoxiously green and huge. I'm on the bus, it's a double diaper go bus. They give you headphones to listen, and there's only talking and telling us facts about Stonehenge. Oh, it's things in town. He's talking about the church right now. This is so When in doubt, just follow the guy with the flag. He'll take you anywhere you need to go. See, he's even talking right now. Just follow the group. They have restrooms, parking lots, and then that's the walkway up there to Stonehenge. There are two parts to Stonehenge. The first part is the visitor center. That is where we went first. restrooms. This is for members and pre-booked tickets. So it's for tickets that you pre-booked for today or you can buy tickets today. And then over there is the cafeteria and I believe the gift shop. Yeah, hopefully I can stay longer. I, I found the gift shop. They have everything. They have a 3D magnet. This is what I wanted. This is my section. Oh, that's mine. That's right. Oh, they got a t-shirt. Per usual, this is why Ashley brought two suitcases. Because Ashley's buying the store. Oh, look. You can get a coaster. They have a Stonehenge neck pillow. Oh, it's a Stonehenge. Oh, it's a Stonehenge. Stonehenge neck pillow. <sighs> Stonehenge chocolates. At the visitor center, they have a rock. I don't know if you're allowed to touch. You can't climb it. You can get close to it. Look at it. Look at it. I touched it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Yeah, no. The both legs up. You can do it, sir. Let's do it together. We just need 80, we just need 78 more people. Let's recruit. Who wants to join us? 
I got nothing. <laughs> See, it says replica. That's a replica. So they probably lived in houses like these. Awesome, thank you. They have a cafe here with seating. You can actually sit outside too. There's people doing picnics. They actually have a picnic deal you can do as well. So a can of soda, it's 240, 2.40 pounds. That's so probably like three dollars. Typical tourist amount. <laughs> show your ticket to the area to take a ride or you can walk the 1.5 miles it is windy so i am choosing to take a ride so if you're adventurous you can walk that or take the shuttle Tons of sheep. But then it's Stonehenge! <sighs> From first look, from far away, they're pretty big. And then this is the three minute ride the bus is taking you down. As those people are doing, you can walk it as well. <laughs> this is a Saturday. And there's all the people here on a Saturday. So there's a walkway that people can go around the whole way and do a full circle. This is the closest you can get. They're right there, just chilling, literally thousands of years. They do look like those tubes of butter that you see in the meme. I touched Stonehenge grass. Rebel. There it is, just right there. Don't panic and take pictures the first 20 feet because everyone bundles up here. Once you come back here, there's plenty of room to take photos. Stonehenge sheep, where do you go? Oh, this one's an electric fence. You don't cross that one. Oh, it's an electric fence? <laughs> yeah, because it gives a warning.
if you look all the people lined up there if you come to the other side there's nobody here and there she is we did the whole loop if i go back this way we can either walk or take the bus We just got off the bus to come back and it just started raining. I bought an umbrella because it started raining. But when you're done with your adventure, you come back to exactly where you dropped you off and the bus is there. Magically. I don't see anything. Once you get on the Stonehenge bus, it'll take you back to Salisbury, where from there I took a train back to Southampton where I was staying. That was another hour. It was an all-day excursion, and I'm glad I did it. Thanks for watching.